This week we took delivery of our new Malconig DK15 industrial grinder. We got this because we have a new wholesale partner that has a lot of different coffee needs, but they do a lot of pre-ground batch brew. We don't have like total hex head. We don't have that attachment for the drill. We also have a crowbar, we can just freaking. Sometimes pre-ground coffee can get a little hate, but as long as you're moving through the coffee in a reasonable amount of time and it's ground on the right setting with a really good grinder to begin with, it's all good. The quality of the grinder and getting the grind setting right, if you can do that and grind on an industrial grinder, your coffee's probably gonna be better than if you grind it fresh to order on a lesser machine. Just don't try to hang on to the coffee for months and months and months. Do your best to use it within about a week. This one's a security torx, but it'll work. And then there's two more down there. You want to do them? The DK15 essentially looks like an overgrown EK43. The burrs are 130 millimeter on the DK15 compared to 98 for the EK. Haven't done any tests to see how much faster the DK15 is than the EK43, but this is really less about time and more about duty cycle. So the EK is really a shop grinder. It's got a duty cycle of 40 minutes and then you need to let it sit for an hour, which is problematic when you're grinding thousands of pounds of coffee on it. The DK15 essentially has no duty cycle. It's continuous run. You could leave it on for eight hours a day, grinding the whole time and it would be fine. It's 220, three phase power. It just works. All right, so that's an EK43, which is like the standard cafe bulk grinder. It's, it's big. The whole thing fits underneath this DK15. Dude, this is sick. There, you can see it in there. It's a, a magnet. It's like a second D stoner almost. I'd say we just go for it, yeah? I mean, that, that was promising. I love equipment. I love playing with new toys. And this one was interesting for me because I didn't have anything to do with placing the order for the grinder. I had no idea when it was gonna come. I knew it was going to happen, but one day the crate just shows up at the roastery. To have stuff happen without your direct involvement as, as an owner is really cool to watch. One of the things we're continually working on is how to grow better leaders and how to be better leaders ourselves. And a part of that is paint the vision, set and hold the standard, and then allowing other people to take ownership of the work. I'm just really grateful about everything that's going on right now. So it's spinning backwards? Yeah. Do we want to turn off the uh, the old, what? I was worried that it was changing any of the wiring in the outlet, but it's just the plug. The verse that's spinning backwards right now. Yep, and it's three phase, so you really just have to swap two of the wires. All right, which one should I swap? You can swap any of these. I'm just being facetious on saying which one should I swap. I have just enough experience with these things to get myself into plenty of trouble. It's coffee, right? Is that what that is? Alright. It's that Mike Mike Weiser. He's got a stone step there. 